We're going to take a look at a few of the Elego Super Starter Kit projects coming up right now. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance and pursuing our dream of building a model railroad. A few months ago, I had a contest and gave away an Elego Super Starter Kit and some other Arduino items. Well, I said back then that I would do a tutorial on it. Now, here it is. If you're new to Arduino or need a refresher of how to code or how to set it up, go check my playlist, Arduino Made Easier, which I'll show in the info card right up here. We're lesson one. Okay, we're going to show you what's in the packing list. You can see that there is a number of items in there and we're not going to cover everything in there, but we'll cover a good part of what you see right here. And of course, it is Arduino. Yes. This is probably the most important part right here. Introduction of the board, and you can see what is on the Arduino Uno. Very, very important to know this right here. Read this is very important. Like I said before, you could take a look at my Arduino Made Easier series that will show you everything that you need to know about the Arduino in the first couple of episodes. I also show you how to set it up in Windows and they tell you how to do it here this is an older version and the first very first <laughs> project in here is blink and add libraries and we're gonna be doing that right here assuming that you have Arduino already set up and properly installed you could see here all you have to do is go to file examples basics and click on blink and that'll bring you to the sketch that we're going to be working on you're going to want to give it a unique name because you're not going to be able to save the examples as they are it'll have it'll come up with save as so give it a unique name like my blink you want to identify the board that you're using you can do that easily if you followed my instructions in Arduino Made Easy. And I'm not going to go through all of that here. Go back and take a look at what is in there. I have the Blink sketch loaded up here on the display. It has a digital right LED button high. And that's this little blinking light right here. I'm just going to show you real quick what happens when you change a value in here. I'm going to change the delays from 1000 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds. Change this to 500. Come down a few lines. 500. We'll compile this and upload it. And you'll see the difference. You'll see these LEDs starting to blink and you'll see that that built in LED is going faster. Now, let me change it again. I'll put the top one. Digital right high. That means on. I'll put that to 1500 and I'll put the low to 5000. And we'll, we'll show you what that one looks like there. Okay, now it's going to stay on for a second and a half. And it's going to stay off for five seconds. And it'll blink again for one and a half seconds. And then be off for five seconds. That's the basic blink sketch. Let's install a library. What is a library anyway? It's a collection of code that somebody already put together to make life easier for you so you can control different items on your Arduino like sensors. 
displays, modules, anything. We're going to use the same example that they use in the Super Starter Kit. So we'll come over here to Sketch, Include Libraries, Oops. Add Zip Library, and this may not necessarily be where yours is, but this is where I put mine in the data. Okay, extracted. Elegoo. All right. Super starter kit. English. Part two. Passive buzzer. We're going to look for the passive buzzer to six right here and we're going to go to this zip file right here pitches we're going to open it and boom that's how you install it now it is installed i opened up a new sketch so we can include the library so we'll just go over here to sketch and include library and come down here and you'll see down here it says pitches that's the one we just installed so we'll put that right up there and you can see that it starts up include pitches.h and that's the library that we'll need this is the wiring diagram for the passive buzzer make sure that the red is on the positive and that goes to pin number eight and then the black wire goes to the ground and that goes to the negative so let's take a look at the actual sketch here. I don't have it loaded on the Uno yet. I have still have the blink sketch on the Uno. So let's make sure that we have, we're still connected right there. We got that Uno. Okay, so we're going to compile it. And upload it. So it goes through the scale over and over again because it's in a loop. Let's change this one here. We'll make this one. Oops. We'll make that one a half a second. All right, so now you see what is possible with this. I'm not going to go through a lot of projects on here. I'm just showing you how to get some of these things started up. You could take these example sketches and add them to other sketches. As many as you want to get something to happen, you just have to use your imagination on it. And we'll continue with this. I'll do some more sketches. We're running a little bit long on this one right here. I don't like to make it too long. So we'll do another one with a couple of more examples on it. So until the next time, we'll see you.